my loves, welcome back to my channel. Well, today, my brother is getting married. The time, let me tell you, I also need to know. It's 9.41 a.m. and we have about 20 minutes to get this whole glam going, okay? So I thought I will take you along with me. We'll start with the skincare. I have freshly cleansed face and this is the Dr. Shed Centella and Niacinamide Serum. This has zinc in it and this while protecting your skin, the zinc and niacinamide is an amazing way to prevent your foundation from oxidizing and the foundation I've carried today tends to oxidize. Also, it's very, very humid here, so your skin can get oily. So I am keeping my skincare very, very minimal and very efficient. So step number two is the Reequal Sheer Zinc Sunscreen. Uh, this is SPF of 50, so once again, this is a beautiful uh, primer guys so we've got our protection sun protection and also this works as a mattifying primer get a little bit on my neck as well also guys you might hear a lot of sounds in the background there are so many people home uh, by so many people i mean all of our family you know um, more than usual so of course i can't ask everyone to shut up <laughs> i'm filming so we will have to bite through any background noises that you may hear. Okay, so I'm using the Huda Beauty Stick Foundation today just because this is the easiest to travel with and this gives a very natural medium coverage as well. It was very long lasting when I tried it. But when I apply this foundation without a niacinamide serum, this foundation definitely oxidizes a bit which is why. I applied that nice cinnamite serum so I have a whole uh, detailed two-day review of this foundation guys so if you'd like to see that check it out right here when you are doing your makeup for a function guys make sure that you get all of these corners and blend it into all sorts of extremities you know get it on the sides of your neck you really don't want your foundation to have a very stark demarcation so remember you are a 3d person you're not being seen just on a camera and the reason why I thought of doing this is because, you know, a lot of us do our wedding guest makeup by ourselves and I wanted to give you all of my tips. Now it's time for concealer and I've been having a really, really bad headache since yesterday, guys. So my under eye circle is pretty bad. So what I'm going to do is start off with a concealer that is a shade darker than me and apply it right there where usually your darkness is the most and also apply a little bit around my mouth because that's where I have a little bit of discoloration and also that's where we sweat the mask you know so a little extra insurance around my mouth for me is a good idea the rest of my skin is doing good touch wood thanks to my current skincare routine which I have made a video about I will link that right here I'm taking a shade just a touch lighter this is 06 of my forever 52 concealer and applying it just underneath that maybe i touch on my forehead as well i know i'm rushing through this because obviously i have a uh, limited time to get this look done and because this is real time getting ready with me you know all the details of all the products i'm using will be linked down below so if you have any doubt guys check out my description bar i'll also try to link um shoppable links below as well and here is another trick to mask foundation from oxidizing. Get a foundation that is lighter than your skin tone and then apply it just right here to the center of your face. Now what this does is, this brightens the center of your face and this part of your face is not going to oxidize. So even if the rest of your foundation oxidizes, the center of your face is still going to remain nice and bright and happy. So overall, you have a very ring light glow effect you see what that did gives you a very 3d approach to your base i love doing this always anyways but i've also noticed that this is the reason why i don't have a problem with my foundation oxidizing because underneath my eyes it stays bright <laughs> okay the next step before the concealer creases and sets we need to set it with a powder i'm using two different shades guys i say this in so many of my makeup videos but I have a lighter shade for under my eyes and I have a deeper shade for the rest of my face. So this one is 150Y. I think it's 150Y but I keep calling it 150P from K-Beauty's Compact Powder. And I like to 
pat in powder instead of swiping you know so that is going to really set and lock in your base makeup without disturbing all those multiple layers we applied earlier on now i'm taking 180y and this will go kind of like on the outer perimeter you know when your face looks cakey and extremely made up this is a mistake i see a lot of people make that's when you take just one shade of foundation or one shade of powder and apply it all over your face. Our brown skin is multidimensional. We have so many shades of brown. So when you ask me what is your shade of foundation, it's not always just one shade. You know, you need to apply lighter shades and darker shades to really bring that dimension. You see my face right now looks like a 3D model, <laughs> not a flat piece of paper, you know. Now that the powder is done, this is one of my favorite blushes of the moment, guys. This is from Colourpop. This is Super Shock Cheek Pearlized Cheerio. So I'm taking that same brush and popping it right here. Such a gorgeous, rosy blush. And during monsoon, I like to skip the highlighter because there is so much sweating happening. We don't need that extra sheen on the face. It just... Um, and they're making you look tired and too glossy, you know. Now that all the base powder products are done, I like to take the brush now and then swirl it all in so that the different shades of powders and the blush and if you had highlighter, all of that could merge and marry and it doesn't look streaky or made up on your face. This is that extra step, guys, that takes your makeup from this to here. Yeah. And before we move into any more steps, I'm going to set this base. And this is the e.l.f. Matte Magic Mist and Set. Give it a nice little shake. And now this base will last all day fresh. It will not go anywhere, you guys. This is how you do the base in five minutes. Okay, taking... A cotton round. I'm going to start with my eyes. So let's start with the brows. Shut up and be no one. You know what I use for my brows? Lacme Micro Brow Perfector. Just give it a little brush. Okay, brush it out. For my eyes, I'm wearing a really bright, the same shade. That is my sari. A pink sari with a grey blouse. So I want my eyes to be very simple and go pop on the lips. We obviously have masks, but we will take pictures, right? So for my eyes, I'm going to keep it very, very simple, guys. I'm going to take this silver glittery shade from the Charlotte Tilbury, this midnight whatever party palette. I'm just going to take a little bit of the grey, pop it on my lid. And then see if I need to add a crease color or anything. I might not even do anything. I might just leave it as it is. Just with a little bit. Let's see. Taking a little bit of that beigey silver shade. And I'm going to pop that to my inner corner. Just to bring in a little bit of dimension. Okay, I'm going to take a light transition shade. Barely anything. And clean up the edges of the silver. And with a pencil brush, I'm going to take that same beigey shade. And apply it to my lower lashes just just a little bit of something i do not want any eyeliner but i want a little bit of definition for photos if you leave it just as it is you might look tired and just stamp it on my lash line so there's a little bit of darkness but it's not really defined now i'm going to take mascara and this is the natasha moore mascara they just launched on nika and they sent me a couple of makeup products I wasn't too impressed with most of them, but this mascara is not bad. I like that it has a tapered brush so you can really get to your inner lashes and everything. For the lips, I'm going to wipe off that excess foundation. And I have a very long wearing liquid lipstick. Guys, this is the way to go if you want to wear a mask. But before that, I'm going to first stain my lips. So even if the lipstick wears off, you're not left with like foundation lips. So this is a stain from Colourpop. It's called the Fresh Kiss. It's a glossy lip stain and it stays a very, very long time. This is in the shade Love Bite. Give that a second to dry. And now I'm going to take my liquid lipstick. This is Ultim Pro by Faces Canada and this is 04 Promising Pink. 
not bad guys the time is 10 4 a.m and we are done with the glam now let me do my hair call my mom to drape the sari and i will definitely show you the full and final effect this is my blouse right <laughs> let me get going Alrighty guys, sari is done. Now, time for the hair. I'm just gonna do a quick middle partition low bun. I remember a couple of months me complaining that I don't like being in middle partition, but now I really like it. That's my favorite way <laughs> to style myself. It's easy, quick, and very, very chic and elegant. So that's all I'm doing. Okay, good enough, good enough. Because I have short hair, my bun is really, really tiny. You know how you fluff it up? with this hairpiece. It's just like a, um, what is that thing called? That's it. <laughs> Your hair is done. <laughs> oh my gosh, that took literally no time. Now, bindi. I need a bindi. Usually, in Kerala, Christians are not big on bindi, but I feel like this could just add just that something, something. Okay, now, if you don't have hair gel, mascara on your hair. Hair won't move the rest of the day. So, taking a little bit of mascara and I'm gonna swipe it right here to tame down the flyaways, the frizz. It's gonna remain nice and sleek and elegant. That even manages the baby hair right here. You can shape it however you want. If you have any grays, this also covers the gray. It's like magic. Now I have a pair of earrings. I'm not gonna do anything for my neck. I'm just gonna leave it bare as it is. Pop on the earring. And uh, I think we're done. I think we're good. Mm -hmm. There you go. Can I step back and show you my sari so you see the full effect? So that's my completed look. Okay, dokes, guys, I am ready. We are all ready. Do you wanna see my amazing? These are my little Hi, are you? Hi. Hi. And these are my cousins. Hi. <laughs> oh, the big boys. <laughs> so we're getting out of the house right now. Dad's uh, making all sorts of noise somewhere in the background there. It's very busy. That's my car with the flowers. Hi, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My <laughs> 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 Let this light guide you for your future life as well. And just like that, the wedding is over. I'm back home. And that is it for this video, guys. Also, if you haven't watched my recent haul video, this is a dress from that haul. And y'all asked me to wear a tie belt on it. And I love the way it's looking. So I've shared all the details on my stories on Instagram. But anyway, ways, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I love you. I shall see you on my next one. Bye.